Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy these lovely ladies, female soldiers. Today is probably one of the most tense moments I've had in this playthrough so far. If we fail this mission somehow, um, then it's over. Um, I think it's pretty much a game over. That would mean that we would need to do another facility, retry that with a different team, but this is basically about four out of the six are our most ranked troopers, our most ranked Valkyries. So if we fail and every single one of them dies, then yeah, yeah, this is this is going to be problematic. But Operation Blood Soaked Wolf, we're not going to start this out negatively. We're going to sabotage an alien facility and reset that doom clock again. It's difficult, but not very difficult, which gives me, well, puts me at ease a little bit. Um, and without further ado, let's just head in, because uh, this is the first time I'm going to also probably be facing one of the alien rulers from one of the first DLC packs to XCOM 2. So here we go. And there we go. I'm nervous because of multiple reasons. We'll get to that in a second. Minus one five. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. We are concealed, but I'm nervous because this is gonna be the first time I face an alien ruler. I don't know what the rules, pun intended, are going to be, but um I guess we'll see. Um there's only seven enemies according to the shadow chamber, so a combination of a spectre, a mech. Lancer, shield bears, and priests. So nothing too spectacular. Not even archons or mutons or andromedons. Nothing too bad. But that makes me wonder what the reinforcements might be. Or what the ruler itself will be able to do. Um, but for now, let's just move up. Also, don't forget, we're playing on Iron Man mode. So if we fail, this uh, entire playthrough is over in one go. Which is why I'm extremely nervous at the moment. Because <laughs> if I fail this, it's just over. Uh, I should probably rename that Iron Woman mode right now. Because we're just, you know, playing with Valkyries. And Valkyries don't do the man thing. And there we go. Okay, our first batch was... I think there was a Spectre Shield Bear and a Mac up top. We saw them for a second, but they're gone again. Um, okay, moving along. First enemy turn and they're moving along that upper area, which makes them quite the big target at the moment. Which is interesting. Um, they still have the bigger sight radius, it looks like. Uh, might also be because they're on higher ground than we are. Um, we could start firing, but for now I don't see the point just yet. I'm just going to move along a little bit further. There's a door here as well, so I might be able to use that to my advantage. So one turn further, and it seems like, yeah, those guys are just gonna stay there. So I'm gonna start opening up a few doors. We have plenty of grenades with us, so I think I might as well start it off with one of those, because the armor is starting to ramp up on those units as well. So let's first... Put Jacqueline a little bit... No, I can't really put her closer. Let's see how far I can reach for the grenade. Shouldn't be a problem there. Yeah, so if I just do this. For some reason, that also hits that tree on the right. Don't know why, but uh, there we go. Good first move. Just blowing them off the, off the rocks. Yeah, a petite surprise. And I think she has heavy ordnance, so that just means a volatile mix. So that's going to add damage. There we go. That was a, a nice thump. That spectre just went flying. There we go. Revealed. No use in uh, delaying this any further. We had the upper hand. And now we can see what they're going to do. Seems like the shield bear is moving back just a little bit. The spectre is wide out in the open. Same as the mech. And the mech goes into overwatch. Fine. Fine, I think we can take out basically everything in this turn. Um, she can actually see two of them. Probably the Spectre and the Heavy Mac, okay. Uh, let's open up the door. There we go, open that up. And then we have, ooh, we have a flank shot. We have a flank shot on the Spectre, that's good. But don't forget the Overwatch shot of the Mac. And the Mac, okay, I can't really see the Mac from over here, but I need to take care of that Overwatch shot first. 
Can I hack it? Let's check that first. Sarah uh, has the skull jack this time, so her hacking stat is a bit higher than before. Still only a 47% chance. Um, but only 7%. Ooh, 53. I'm gonna try it. Doesn't really hurt to try, but it might definitely hurt, especially like that. Aim and defense stats increased. So defense stat increased and combined with his height advantage, that might be very problematic. Um... 70% chance, but, but, that's 80% with lightning hands. Might as well try that, because that might remove, yeah, and that removes the overwatch. There we go. There we go. Um, then, we're free to move, which is already good. So Marina basically has a flank shot on the Spectre, but I think if I put her behind the canister, that's still full cover. But she'll be... Uh, I don't think she might still see the Spectre there. So if I want to have her fire at the Spectre, I need to do it now. But before I do that, what's her bond mate? Ooh, Christina's her bond mate. Not going to use that just yet, but might as well fire away. 76 is not bad and it's a flank shot. So let's try that. Let's hope it hits. Yeah, there we go. It's a graze though. So that's only 5 damage and no critical. Um, we did get a flanking shot ability point, which is always nice. Um, I think I should probably take out the mech. So that's 8 points of damage that we need to do. Hmm. Could do it from here. On my way. Let's bring her up. Uh, and she could still do Haywire Protocol as well, by the way. That's... I'm not going to do that just yet. So, 70% chance to hit because of the extra defense. Might as well try. Oh, that's a hit, but not a kill. But, Christina is definitely going to be able to finish that off. And if I'm able to actually use Shadowfall on this, that's actually guaranteed to hit. Right, I forgot about that. And with a kill, she goes into concealment. And that's an awesome sound effect. There we go. That's good. Then next up, I think I'm gonna use... What else do we have left? Oh, that's that's it. You know what? If I get a kill, what's the damage on that thing right now on the shotgun? 8 to 10. That should be enough to kill the shield bear. So let's just run and gun the towards the shield bear. It's not the best idea because if I trigger anything else, I am totally boned. But if I kill the shield bear, ooh, there it. That's not good, is it? That's that's definitely not good. But um, shield bear down. Blamo! That thing backs a punch. That is an awesome weapon. But she gets implacable and basically immunity as well. So if I pull her back to, let's say over here, we should be fine. And the Spectre might do something, but the Spectre usually goes for Shadowbound first. Ooh, that's not good. I think that's gonna go... But that's just Shadowbound, right? I think. Yeah, Shadowbound. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Is she, is the copy is just gonna move. That's definitely not a problem. So let's just take out the Spectre... Rather easily, although he is moving again. But ah, he spots Christina while passing. Okay, that's too bad. But I'll uh, return the favor in a second. Does the Spectre actually count as a robotic unit? Because that would mean that Jacqueline does more damage with her blue screen rounds. And the turret is probably not able to do anything right now. Ooh, oh, she got the same abilities. Interesting. So Jacqueline. Ah, oh, Jacqueline can't see that thing right now. Okay, I need to get rid of the... Uh... Damn. I need to get rid of the uh, Overwatch from the copy. Can you actually see? Yeah, the copy. The shadow. 88%. So let's do that first. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's exactly how that ability works, right? 
Well, I did remove the Overwatch. That is annoying. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Um, let's move Jacqueline to the other side of the wall here. And have a fire at the Spectre. No problem. No problem. I can I can heal all of that off. Ninety two percent chance. <sighs> that was bullshit. Um, okay, then um, let's do this and have a have a little flank shot. Eighty six. Yeah, come on. Heidi's gonna fix this. There we go. There we go. I feel like Heidi's gonna become indispensable here. There goes that. Uh, Sarah wakes back up. So that means I can probably use Sarah to heal Kelly again. But that was actually really cool that the uh, the shadow actually gains the complete tool set of the original. Um, well, the original. Um, I need to heal Kelly, but I can't reach her. It does seem that Sarah keeps her full mobility um i'm gonna have to move a little bit closer to the turret we know there's a third oh this what no a viper king just what we needed that's i don't even know i don't even know oh crap uh this is not good can I freeze this thing for a second? <laughs> a Viper King! That is... That is... I mean... How am I gonna even start to fight this thing? And there's an, a, a... Well, a slightly injured Kelly up there. <laughs> this might be problematic. Um, I could use Restoration, but it's way too soon to start, to start using Restoration. Um... 46%. Do I want to even fire at this thing at the moment? I probably should, right? I still have quite a, a, a few actions left. I don't have lightning reflexes at the moment, but wait. What can I do with the frost bomb? I'm guessing I can toss... Ooh, I can't even toss that out there. She, ah, ooh, she ha. Um, I'm at a loss for words, and as I said, I, I'm a bit nervous as well. So, please uh, move Sarah back behind this very sturdy wall. It would seem Valen's creations are not intent on making this easy. Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. Holy crap, it reacted to me moving. That is not good. Uh, I could actually just combat protocol it to hit it a little bit. It adds a lot of health. I need to freeze this thing. Um, so I am going to do combat protocol. So combat protocol at least does five, five damage. Uh, and zap it. There we go. I don't know if it's going to even react to that. Oh yeah, ruling the action again. Okay. It's going to play that game. <laughs> low temperatures. You are at risk of severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, doctor. Um, this is problematic. It just froze Marina without probably knowing where she was. This is not good. So that thing gets an action every time we do something? I'm really afraid to move now. So, um... I'm not going to be able to hit it from there, so I'm just going to just gonna go on pistol. I have no idea what to do now. Yeah, Marina is frozen. Because I would have used her... Oh, wait. He didn't do anything. So he, he reacts to what I do. Or she, in this case. I am not exactly sure. Uh... <laughs> I would want to, of course, get close. Because if I can get a few shots in there, that thing might go down rather quickly. But then again, I need to be able to. Um, let's see. If I toss a grenade, how far can I can actually get the grenade over there? How does that even work? 
I toss that over all those walls. Since I want to limit my, uh, my usages here, I might as well just do it now. But that tree is probably not going to go down with a grenade. But there we go. Shredding at least. Shredding at least. I'm going to have to see if I can get rid of the frozen status with healing. Which would not seem logical. But there we go. Tree is gone. It might just decide to move now. Or not. Or not. Okay. Um, I can heal myself with Kali. That might actually also be a good choice. Um, can I heal myself? Yeah, heal myself first. And let's just keep her over there. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't think the Viper... The Viper doesn't react because she doesn't see Kali. So if I just heal Marina over there, I might be able to do the exact same thing. The only thing I'm going to have to do is put Marina in a better spot so she can use that Frost Bomb. Which is basically the entire plan right now. Use the Frost Bomb. I have an extra turn for the loot, so I'm not going to worry about the loot. Is this a window? It does seem like this is supposed to be a window. So if I move over here, Let's do this. that thing is going to react again. I would assume. Yeah, there we go. Moving closer. And now, I can use the Frost Bomb, and that's actually a very good position for me. I can use the Frost Bomb, that just barely hits it. So, I don't know why it says that much damage, because it's definitely not going to do that much damage, but... I'm just going to use the Frost Bomb now. Because if that thing stays in place... So, Frozen for... Does that mean three turns? Or three actions? Um... Let's go, let's go over here and give it some flank shots. Aha, it wanted to react, but it's still frozen. There we go. I am liking this. Uh, we could do dual strike, but where's Sarah? Sarah should probably move in a better position, but I think that's going to be in range of the third then. Um, I don't know why I could even do that, because I don't think she can even see the Viper right now. Um, no worries. Oh, no, wait. Who Who is Heidi's bondmate? That's Kelly, probably. Ah, yeah, because that's, that's probably Kelly, right? Yeah, that's Kelly. Okay. Um, I might as well try it, then. It's a, an extra shot... No, I'm going to wait with it. I'm going to wait with it. So let's just fire our weapon at the Viper. It's a Viper King, so it's going to be a he. It, not a critical, but it was something. Ooh, it is going down. It is going down. Um, It is going down. That's not good. Uh, It is going down with hits, then, probably. Let's move Sarah closer. I don't know. Yeah, that's a very peculiar way of go going around that. But there we go. Does it go down now as well? No, it doesn't. Um, if I get sight with somebody on that dirt, it might help as well. <laughs> I'm risking it all here. This is stupid, but here we go. Christina over there. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. That is not... No, that's... No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Let's let's see. I can do face-off with... Chris oh, why did I do that? So Christina is in trouble now. Um, I'm going to first do the combat protocol on the turret, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Game, if you say two on turns, that doesn't mean that after one more move, that thing's just gonna wake up again. That's only eight damage. So I'm not gonna kill it with a pistol shot, which means that I need to pull back. I need, I just need to pull back. I don't have, I do have an explosive. What? 
I could fire at this thing, probably. <laughs> the, one, the one thing that would hit basically everybody. Okay, moving back. Because I don't have another option here. Um, so let's move back. Uh, that still means that Marina is in big trouble. Yep, yeah, that. Exactly that. So she's gonna get wrapped. But we have armor, so that's not a problem. So bound, bound is bound, so she's not gonna, the king is not gonna move, which is good. Because that means we can start focusing damage on that thing. I can actually. It's a risky shot. But if I go over here, I got sight on the turret probably. So that, she's still bound. Ooh. Ooh, um, what the f... Un unconscious, what does that mean? Uh, she still has a health bar, so that's not a problem. Um, I can't see the turret, so that's also not a problem. But I am gonna do dual strike on the Viper right now. So that's seven, and then a shot from Heidi is gonna be... No, 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 you wait, dammit. You wait and stay down. God damn you. Is it gonna try and run? What does that mean? Some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Valen would have allowed it to have this ability. Yeah, try me neither. Take it out before it gets away. Oh god. Um Um But one of our people is dead. How do we how do I even resuscitate her? Because I can do another shotgun shot, but that's not gonna take it out permanently. What's gonna happen now? He's probably gonna do something else, so let's just fire at it with Heidi. Always a good choice. There we go. Critical. Not a critical. Is it just gonna leave? Okay. How are you supposed to stop that thing if it just runs away immediately? Huh. Maybe I should have put everybody on Overwatch, but even if I move just one person, they were gonna move again? That was scary. That was really scary. I'm just gonna move Sarah over here, because she probably has... I can see the third again. I could probably do... Oh, no. Combat protocol is not a... Carry the unit. Can't you just... Ooh. Um, Kremlin, Kremlin heal? Is that, is that gonna do something? Is that gonna help her unconsciousness nurse? Oh, for fuck's sake. I healed myself. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to carry Marina out of here. She's apparently just down for the count. Oh, okay. Um, let's just pick pick uh, Marina up. Um, cause this part... Wow. Um, okay. That means just move back just a little bit behind full cover. And then I'm just gonna have to put Jacqueline on Overwatch as well and see what the turret is gonna do. Probably fire at Sarah. How can I not stabilize somebody who's unconscious? It's weird, because unconscious usually means that they almost died. Ah, oh, the loot. Crap, I should have picked that up as well. Yeah, everything. I saw the panic because of that Viper King. Um, probably not the best <laughs> match I've ever had. Okay, um, but this makes the, my remaining task a bit easier. Um... I could hack that turret, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's... Don't you have combat protocol? No. I could stabilize. Hmm. I still feel like I should be able to get Marina back. So if I, if I, for example... Wait, let's put Marina down again. Can I then use Kelly to, to, to wake her up? Like smack her in the face or something? Because this is a bit, a bit, a bit of a weird situation. Can you, with all your healing powers, not... No. That doesn't change anything. Okay. 
So let's. I'm gonna try Haywire Protocol then to take over the turret. If I can, why not? And then we can continue with the mission as normal. Yeah, uh, let's let's just try and take it over. And uh, there we go. It's our turret now. Whew. Okay, let's move up and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, never mind. We spotted another turret. <laughs> Not a problem per se, but it is it is funny though. Um, okay, moving up. So I think with the... I kind of saw something when I was controlling the turret. Um, can you give me the turret again? If I was aiming at that, I think I saw some of the enemies in the building itself. There's sometimes a glitch where you can see enemies that you're not supposed to see. Um, but yeah, let, I'm just moving up closer to the facility because we're going to blow this thing up. I know there's only normal troopers left in this uh, place, so we should be fine. And of course, we spot the three troopers through the window with our one soldier who's pretty much incapacitated. Okay. Uh, one of them is moving up. For some reason, right next to the turret I'm, oh, I own, which is a bit silly, but okay. Um, who else do we have? Sarah could actually hack the other turret. Um, you might actually just try this. Let's uh, why protocol this thing and see what else we can get. Um, 57. Not bad. Let's try it. There we go, another turret that is under our control. With that, um, I basically will be able to just take out the Lancer with the turrets on their own, I think. Because I get control of the turret immediately, unlike with the... Uh, oh, for some reason he can't see that, um, that Lancer right next to him, which is a bit weird, but... There we go, 40% chance. Your aim sucks, little turret. But for some reason, you basically always hit, so I'm, I'm not really too too worried. Um, so let's try that again. Ah, uh, that, that was a miss, and I think I just destroyed the ladder you used to come up here. Which is, I mean, fine by me. The other turret can go into Overwatch. And then I'm going to have to see. Because um, I'm not going to be able to do anything from here. I'm just going to put... Uh, Christina out of the way for now. So they're forced to just come down. Um, Jacqueline can move up. Pretty sure she won't be able to see anybody from there. And if she does, well... That's just better luck for us. And then everybody else can go into Overwatch. I think Callie I'm gonna have to put on the sidelines for now. And have a reload because otherwise she won't have the ammo needed to uh, fight properly. So there we go. And then we have everybody else managed. So it is still hacked. And the priest is moving up. He can stasis Sarah without actually laying eyes on her. I think Sarah is our Valkyrie that has been stasis the most already. She, she goes down on her knees again. And there we got an Overwatch shot from Heidi, which misses, and then another miss, and I think the third should be able to shoot at him as well, right? Come on. Oh, are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, this is great. And for some re- wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait. Why is that turret an enemy turret again? Why is that turret an enemy turret again? So, um, definitely putting down Marina. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, the Lance is gonna go down to a shot from Kelly. Oh no, but it's shielded. It's shielded. Oh, for fuck's sake. But wait a second, I still have that turret, right? Yeah, uh, goodbye. Ah, oh, flip. 70%, come on, there we go. Kill that flipping Lancer. This is problematic. <laughs> this is really, really, really problematic. Um, I could just flash the shield bear. There's a shield bear and a priest, so I need to be careful. 
what I do here. Can I shoot through those windows? I can, right? Yeah, okay. So for now, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna... Do I fire on my own turret? I should. I'm just gonna put it on Overwatch for now. Uh, and then Christina's gonna go to Overwatch as well. The turret is still hacked, which is good. It's probably gonna be the last turn we have that. Stasis ended. But everybody's coming closer, so that's not good. We do get an Overwatch shot from Jacqueline on the Priest, but it also misses. Definitely not what I expected. And then he's probably gonna... Oh, mind control, yeah, because we needed more ways of losing our soldiers. That was a miss, right? I think that... Yeah, mind control resisted. And then the shield bear moves around... Ooh, to the top. To the top of the building. He's gonna fire at the third. Fine by me. How did you miss that, by the way? And that turret is gonna fire at the turret as well. Okay. I think it's high time we start using some explosives. Do we still have explosives is the question. Why don't I... Do I only have one move with... Uh, I can't stabilize her for some reason. Healing or reviving them is needed. Restoration might work now. If that works on everybody... Let's try that, because Marina's on the floor anyway. To each squad member. Okay, restoration it is. I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna do restoration. I'll see what happens. I think that just healed her. It doesn't seem... Oh, she is. She is standing up. She is standing... Why aren't you doing that to Marina? Fuck. Okay. Not that much of a problem. Let's just reload Jacqueline. I would have loved getting Marina back there. But she was also just unconscious, so I don't see what the difference is there. Damn, that priest is well protected. Okay. Still have a turret. Might as well fire at a few things. Uh, definitely just fire at that turret. There we go. That's five damage that shielded. And now we fire at it again. There we go. One more damage. So apparently the armor doesn't stop shield damage, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing because we're, we've been totally boned. Totally boned. Um, I could go in here, but that's not going to help me much, is it? Even going up here isn't that beneficial. Could go over here and see if I can't lightning reflex that... Uh, that priest. But even then, it's only 60%. He still has the shield. So we definitely need to take care of the shield bay first. Aha! But Kelly and Heidi are bond mates. That gives me an idea. So let's just. Shield bear is up here. Let's bring Heidi up here, but with running gun enabled. Running gun? Nope. Nope. Move, move first. So let's move her right next to the shield bear. Over here. Yes. Right next to him. Right next to his face. I'm gonna take this guy out with, with style. And then we're gonna just fire at him. Or do I actually just sword swipe? Because I think the sword swipe ignores armor, right? So attack an enemy within movement range with your sword. Slash. Because the new sword ignores armor. So that's going to be very, very nice. Slash. There we go. So that's 10 damage. And then, if we move back to Kali for a second, I am, might actually move her a little bit closer uh, to over here. Sure thing. To not just waste moves. I'm just going to have to turn that again. Um, and then give her her bolt action to Heidi. And Heidi can then slash that shield barrier again. Because she likes to use that new sword of hers. By just dissecting shield bears. Dissecting advent. Seems to be very, very good at that. So that removes the shields. Uh, I could put, make her a very big target if I wanted to. But uh, right now, I think it's high time that we start firing at that little priest over there. So let's lightning hands the priest. There we go. Burning. Always very, very nice. And then we just fire at him again. There we go. 
Yeah, she she hits with that thing. Um, and then we still have Jacqueline, but Jacqueline won't be able to do much. I could destroy the cover of the. <laughs> could have done that first. Um, I'm just gonna put it on Overwatch. And then Heidi can go, you know what, just basically over here. Ah, she can actually go over here. That would be nice. Where she needs to put the explosive. She's invulnerable anyway at the moment because of uh, Untouchable. So let's just put it over there. And the priest is burning, which is how I like my priests. That sounded really, really weird. Um, so the priest, the priest is just burning. Uh, I think that, yeah, the turret just changed, didn't it? The priest is coming out. The priest is coming out. He is moving, but um, Jacqueline didn't manage to hit him. He's gonna just fire at Sarah. Ow! But there we go, dodge coming into play. That's the first time we dodged her. Oh, why is that still... Okay. Yeah, indeed, that all you got. Jesus Christ, that, I need to take out those turrets. Because I lost, I lost control over the turrets. I can't forget Marina in a second, by the way, because Marina's still on the floor. <laughs> right over there. Um, okay. Uh, pre pretty, pretty straightforward what you need to do now, I think. I'm just going to make a Heidi set the explosives. So, plant X4. I don't even need to worry about the turrets per se, because the turrets are going to be this blown to bits as well. Confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Then we just uh, blast away at the Moving priest. Now. Uh, although I could do that with a pistol shot probably. So if I just put Christina over here. There we go. Ooh. That's also nice, but let's just do this. Hi. That was... Yeah, that was an execution, all right. Yeah, he's, he's dead, all right. Uh, and then we have Kelly going further. Can they fire at the, the turrets? Yeah, we might actually be able to kill that thing if we do go full damage. That was an 84% miss. A Combine that with the 92% miss we already had. We're really unlucky today. Um... So that's another 94% if you want to. Did any of the ladies still have a grenade? I think that's... That is actually Heidi. Because I can take out that, 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 that thing over there if I wanted to. But... Ah, uh, she can't reach the turret with the blades. Which is too bad, actually. You know what? Let's return the favor of advanced teamwork. And let's uh, Kelly fire again. Again, is that a good idea? I feel like I just need to move these ladies inside. But Kelly is out there anyway, so let's just fire at that super heavy turret first. With the blue screen around, so if that hits, there we go. Kill. Kill confirmed. Uh, then. I don't think she has untouchable active at the moment, so I do need to be careful. Uh, let's put her up here. Moving to designated position. Then move to Sarah. Sarah can fire at that super heavy, heavy turret over there as well. With a little bit of luck now. It is full damage, but not the critical. I don't think we even had a chance for a critical. It's going to be able to fire one more time. And it's at Sarah. And it's another miss. I think he's going to blow that up. If he keeps that up. Oh, great. Like they called in backup. Menace 1-5, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. I mean, that's not a problem. I can deal with those really easily. Uh, first things first, let's put uh, an end to this thing. I'm just gonna slash this turret. Is that thing gonna explode? It might. It might, but because of Untouchable, that would technically mean that we're not taking damage. 11 damage. There we go. Indeed you did. Uh, let's put her on the corner of the building. Because um, that's going to give her a sight on whatever drops down. And then Christina. Christina can actually go up and inside of here. and put her. Let's put her on Overwatch as well. On Pistol Overwatch. 
I don't know. I don't know what that was, but there we go. Uh, Overwatch, Dan. Hmm. Everybody, I can put on Overwatch. I will. Ah, Jacqueline is in a good position. Could have reloaded her first, and I think Kelly. I'm gonna put up here, just so they can't use this, the ladder if they wanted to. And just put it on Overwatch as well, so that would be a, a nice welcoming committee. I could have put uh, Sarah up there as well, because of her covering fire. But, dropy drop ship, with some more a-holes. That looked like they were dropped through the building, because I, I saw Heidi there for a second. But, hello fellas! Hello! There we go, screamy screamy, and yeah, you all get shot. That was a dodge, a miss, another miss, a pistol hit, no, also a miss, that was three misses. That's not ideal. But that's not too bad, because I have Jacqueline ready with the blue screen rounds. Bringing in reinforcements. Menace one five, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. A uh, game you can stop with the reinforcements now, uh, we're, we're, we're basically... <laughs> what the hell? Okay, wait, so first things first, Jacqueline uh, needs to reload, and then I'm just gonna wreck that uh, that mech with the blue screen rounds. Uh, so fire on the heavy mech. Please hit, because it's only 74. Oh my god. So yeah, the luck in this, in this, yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy with my luck. Damn! Okay, I, I mean, we do, we're not in trouble or anything, but it's still really, really annoying. So what can she see? The priest and the purifier. We could hack... <laughs> I'm there again. We could hack the, uh, the mech. I could try and take control of the mech. Let's do Haywire Protocol and just check out the percentages. If it's pretty good, I might as well try it. I could even stun it if I wanted to. So 93 to stun, 47 to take control. For 47? For it's not that good, but I mean... We are 40 points above the tech score of the mech, so let's try it. Ooh, yes! Okay. <laughs> that was a weird noise, but uh, we just made that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's taking out the mech in one go, and it's ready to start firing on whatever is gonna be there, spawning in front of it. Okay, hacked. I don't think we get control immediately, because it works differently than with the, the turrets. No, we definitely don't. Um, but there's no overwatch anymore, so I can take advantage of Heidi's movement. So if I put Heidi over here, she basically has a free... Critical shot with the shotgun on the priest. There we go. Hello, priest. 75% of crit. Do you like this? Ooh, 14%. 14 damage. 14%. And he's going into stasis. Okay. I don't know what does that exactly. Because it's not one hit kills, clearly. Um, The purifier. I can fire twice with a pistol. Right. I forgot about that. Um, so let's just fire twice with a pistol. He still has armor, though. He still has armor, though. Do I have something that shreds? I don't think I do, but I could. Can I skull check a purifier? I I can definitely try. Um, come on, give me give me one of the sides. There we go. Let's skull mine the 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 purifier, making it very very dangerous. Because if I miss this. I don't miss this because I got an animation. There we go. Please don't blow up. Uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely the intel. There we go. We're doing a lot with ha hacking today. Small intel cache, please don't blow up. I just hacked him, right? He shouldn't be blowing up if I hack him. There we go. And then we got pistol overwatch. And another dropship. I'm guessing this is just one of those ending of facility rounds where we get two rounds of reinforcements. And uh, we got 
basically the same composition aside from the mech is now a trooper. Which is arguably worse. Does the mech... Yeah, the mech still has his overwatch, by the way. So, two priests. But that other priest is gonna die really soon. There we go. Mac takes an overwatch shot on the, the priest and misses straight on. But the pistol doesn't. So that trooper is almost done for. Okay, what is that one priest gonna do? Because he's still alive now. Which is really annoying. I hate that ability. That automatic stasis thing is bullshit. And Sarah goes into stasis again. Why? Why her? Why her? I, I don't get it. Hack effect lost. Why? That was way too soon. No. Why? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Please, no. I hate you. I definitely hate you. X4 charges are armed. Get to the evac point. We don't have any time to spare. Do, do we know where the evac point is, by the way? Is that behind here somewhere? Because I'm not exactly sure where we need to. Um, I mean, we probably need to do that manually. But, but we're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> God damn you, Mac. Um, let's do that first. Yeah, definitely fire at the Mac. Blue screen rounds, please don't miss. There we go. Hack defense decreased because of the blue screen rounds as well. I'm not going to hack it again. I'm not going to hack it again. What I am going to do is finally use Reaper. Yes, we are going to use Reaper. Reaper, a devastating chain melee attack. Yes. So now we can slash the Mac, which is definitely going to die. Um, can we actually slash something else first? Purifier is not going to die. But the Elite Trooper is going to die. Yes. So Elite Trooper first. This is going to be awesome. Slash one. I think it works like this. So Blade Master 1. Then. Enemy destroyed. Please. Yeah, there we go. Reaper. Then we go to the Mac. The Mac. And slash it like this. Yeah, bye. That still does 10 damage, by the way. So it might have it, it might have reduced the damage, but it's it's not it's not by a lot. Um, so now it's eight and nine. So I'm guessing it just goes down by one damage each time. Um, so let's slash this uh, this priest. Heidi is a monster now. <laughs> Nailed him. And we keep going. We keep going. We definitely keep going. Um, we could do the priests. Uh, that sounds really dirty as well, but I'm just going to slash the priest again. Uh, she has uh, untouchable anyway, so let's just uh, do, do that. Some more damage. There we go. And that ends it, right? Yeah, okay. Um, now, we have a few options. That uh, Purifier is not in the best of spots. But of course he has... Good cover. Which I can bypass, to be honest. So if I put Christina down there again. I basically have a flank shot, I think. Well, anyway, it makes the pistol 100%, so... Fire away. That's one. And then let's do that again. 100%. And three more damage. No burning, though, which is sad. Oh, Kelly is the last one. That's not good. That's not good. I was hoping to be able to do a bit more than that. Um, so let's focus on dealing damage on the purifier then. I'm going to put her a little bit closer in full cover over here. And then see what I can do. 66 or 56. 56 is not a lot, but might as well try. Seems like it hits, yeah. That armor's tough. But just didn't kill it. And that blows up, but the stasis ends on Sarah now. We still have a priest and a purifier on the board. But I mean, the priest, if he tries to fire at... Yeah. No, she's immune. You won't even be able to put her in stasis, I think. 
Does that fail then? No, it doesn't. Okay, that means the purifier is... What is he gonna do? Oh yeah, fire at, fire at Christina. Christina is burning, but I can take care of that. We can take care of that, that's not a problem. Um, I'm just gonna move her first. So Sarah is back, which is good, which is good, definitely good. We'll uh, be able to stop it now, um, end this now. So, Christina, over here, and please take care of the, uh, of the purifier. I'll heal you in a second. Fire your pistol at the purifier, please do. Let's make a big explosion. No, it did do a nice backflip though. Uh, and she got a promotion from that as well. Um, I can probably heal Christina. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm actually going to do that first. So heal on uh, Christina. Go patch him up. And there we go. Heal in progress. No longer burning. And then uh, reload Kelly. And then we do... Oh, we can choose. Probably Sarah. Just to... Uh, I could actually hack hack him as well. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to move over here. And kill that priest. And then we're going to have to uh, get out of here, I suppose. That was, again, a very weird way of going over there. But, blast that thing in the face, please. There we go. Guts against the wall. Sorry for the people that might suffer from... Epilepsy, because that might have hurt a little bit. Wait, why is the music still going? I think we're done, right? Extract all XCOM soldiers. I'm pretty sure that I can just call the Sky Ranger, right? Yeah, so place an evac zone for your soldiers. I'm going to put that right in the middle here. Right in the middle, where everybody can reach it easily. There we go. And then move her in there, I suppose. Ah, I could have used the two actions to, of course, pick up Marina. Might as well still do that. Might as well still do that. So I'll round everybody up and I'll see you guys in a second. And that should be it, I suppose. Extract all XCOM soldiers. There we go. All objectives complete. A bada boom. Wow, that, um, that Viper King is scary. Six soldiers wounded. Everybody got wounded, which is uh, not great. And apparently we missed one enemy. I'm not sure what that was, but apparently we missed one enemy. I hate that Marina is conscious on the Sky Ranger. I, that's, not, that's not okay. You could have woken up earlier, girl. We could have used you. So, that was very, very painful. But we made it out alive. Everybody's alive. Every there was a lot of people unconscious as well, but... Ooh, look at that. Look at that. And everybody drops... Well, hangs low. Um, so we could promote... Ah, we have a promotion for Christina, which is great. Aim. Hunker down now confirms spent 20 aim to the first shot on the following turn. Or steady hands. If you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 aim and plus 10 critical chance. Both of them are good. But I don't really use Hunger Down, so I'm gonna go for Steady Hands. That's our highest level sniper right now. Christina went through the ranks really quickly. And then everybody else is wounded. Which is too bad, but I think the bond between Christina and Marina actually has improved now. 20 intel, that's basically all we get from that. With the alien facility destroyed, their efforts to develop the Avatar project will likely suffer a substantial decline, at least for the time being. Excellent work, Commander. Reduce the Avatar progress by one for all of that. That was bad. That is really bad. Um, Because that means that we're still not in the clear, I would suppose. That's just one block down. It's going to reduce, but... At what cost? Yeah, one down. So in the next second that could change again. Facility lead sounds really, really tempting at the moment. Because the other alternative is intel. I have plenty of intel. That actually gives me an idea. Let's go to the black market first. We'll check that out and then we'll go to that facility lead. 
I really need plasma weapons as well. So if I can, I'm just going to keep the research into plasma weapons going. And when we're done with that, I'm just going to go full into the story research. Because that's going to help us reduce the Avatar project progress as well. A nice batch of supplies is always handy. So let's get that. There's another superior speed PCS, but I don't really need it right now. Um, I'll leave the rest, since I might use that intel later on. But the supplies are really welcome. And then that covert action is also complete. Oh, oh that is nice. Double Illyrium core. That is really nice. Okay, that's really good. Uh, so let's assign a new covert action, because that means we can start, do some, uh, start doing some extra stuff in the... Uh, you know, in the Proving Grounds as well. Um, what else do we have? Is it me or is Reduce Avatar Project Progress gone? So we can't even do that. Um, so then I think I'm gonna go for the next part in the Chosen Warlock, because we need to take him out. I'm actually for once... Ooh, we don't have a Major available. We can't even do that. Um, then I think we need to do a Facility Lead. Ah, no, this might actually be even more interesting. Gain resistance contact, let's do that. We need two, two people, I can do that. I'll, I'll put Jessica on there, and then one of the rookies. Uh, so Gertrude then, preferably. And let's confirm that. Begin that action. That doesn't take too much, too long. Um, and with the infirmary going in full blast, we should be able to... Get that done rather quick. I still don't know how to instantly get somebody back, but we'll see about that in a few days, hopefully. Then the Proving Ground. We don't have an Engineer over there, which is not that much of a problem. I can start on a project already. And I think I need to go with another Experimental Grenade. Um, so let's do that. 10 days, that's fine. I don't need to spend extra supplies on that. And that's good. I could do another war suit as well, but we'll see about that in a minute. After the other project is done. I don't want to rush those things. Um, so let's now go to the facility lead. So we're going to get that either way. New I could also build a tower. I'm going to go for the facility lead because the uh, tower actually costs too much supplies. That's not good. That's not good. Let's review the targets. That's just lost. Uh, wait, what? Are you giving me an engineer with the exact same name as our most, our best? Um, that's, that's ridiculous. Hacked or hidden resistance computer. But that's with lost. I don't want to do lost. Enemy unknown. Oh no. We hit the next tier. Um, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go for that. I'm gonna have to go for the supplies, just because of the amount of enemies. I'm gonna have to go for Western Europe. Because I can't do Lost, I feel like. That's gonna be very, very annoying. East Africa... Could do, but with the Andromedon... That's gonna be really... And the Archon, that's gonna just be too difficult. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Western Europe. Setting course for Western Europe. I see that Marina has recovered, though, so we might be able to put together somewhat of a team. This is going to be interesting. We can now employ an experimental technique to restore any soldier to perfect physical and mental health for a single combat mission. Aha, for a single combat mission. I don't feel like we need to do that now. Um, and that is not too bad, aside from the fact that we have four snipers. That's not that good, so I'm just going to remove these two and see what else we have. So Emily Walker might actually be good, so that's our uh, our extra ranger. And then otherwise, yeah, we're going to take another Grenadier. So this is going to be yet another bad team, if I do say so myself. We have Marina, who is at full, full tire, well, not empty tiredness, basically, because she uh, basically didn't do anything in the last mission. And then Elena, Christina, Erica. And Emily, I think it's Emily Walker, the ranger. Um, I gave her the assassin weapons as well. And then Elisabetta Bianchi is going to come along on this mission as well. But that's going to be for next time on Operation Shadow Walker. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.